Any attack on the God of the Bible or the Christ of the Bible is an attack on the Bible. Any attack on the truth of Scripture is an attack on Scripture. I mean, the critics and then attacks from the cultists, the Mormons, the JWs, the Christian science, theosophy, un Unitarianism. You go all the way from the death cults, you know, the People's Temple cult of Jim Jones, the Branch Davidian cult of David Koresh, Tsar Heaven's Gate cult of Marshall Applewhite, who thought they were going to be taken to heaven in a hail bop comet. You know, the writings are filled with twisted scripture and pseudo-Christian imagery. Cults have extra revelation. Some inspired personality. Joseph Smith, Mary Baker Eddy, Patterson, Glover, Fry. She had a lot of husbands. Annie Bizant, Judge uh, Rutherford, Madame Blavatsky, and on it goes. Thirdly is the attacks from the charismatics. I mean, anytime you say that there's continuing revelation, you have assaulted the scriptures. I'm not saying that, that those people aren't Christians. People say to me, do you think the charismatics will go to heaven? I say, I do. I think some of them will just go flying on by, but I think there are many of them that are going to go there and stop when they arrive, you know. When you have your own private vision, revelation, word of knowledge, word of wisdom from God, this is serious stuff. And when the Lord tells you this and the Lord tells you that and Jesus showed you what that verse meant, when you take your own private trip to heaven and then you get to take a trip to hell and hear voices from heaven, mystical hyper-subjectivity, I'll tell you what, I don't like to put words in people's mouths. Least of all, God's.